I'm David Kadamus. I'm the founder of Sightlines. I started as a business officer at Hobart College and got an opportunity to run the facilities at Columbia University and I joined them as the chief financial officer of Columbia's facilities. At that time, we started developing a whole series of tools to actually run the campuses operations as well as capital. We started selling those services beyond the one or two campuses that we were and grew and changed the name to called Facilities Resource Management. One of the interesting things that came about is we started developing an interesting database that really started addressing the financial dynamics of the institution and we could start comparing between campuses so therefore we could start forecasting pretty effectively where we think the kinds of savings and improvements would come from. That company was sold to Aramark, and then I left and, and started Sightlines. <music> Had a lot of friends that were CFOs and presidents in the industry and started talking to them about creating a business. And they said, you know, we really don't need more technical folks. What we really need is someone who can help us manage these assets more effective, just like an investment advisor does for our endowments. So as a result, we sparked an idea to develop a pilot program with eight campuses to uh, actually test out this concept of the return on physical assets, or ROPA for short. We published our findings in the spring of 2001, and we started selling campuses at that point in time. There were only three of us at the time. Part of the core was Jay Perlman, who's been with me since the very beginning. The company got started uh, very small. It was David and I literally working out of his house, driving around, collecting energy pills from the pilot institutions uh, and developing benchmarks for them. I can remember the days that we would wake up and just drive to Vermont or Massachusetts or, or Maine, you know, hours and hours on the road uh, because hotel stays really weren't even an option back then for us. We thought that we had hit the big time when we opened up our first office. We started with three of us and then we moved to five people. We needed some space, so we took the second floor here, which is about six, 700 square feet of space. And uh, you know, having our own space for the company meant that we had a company. It was tight. We didn't have Wi-Fi. We actually did pass a telephone wire around from computer to computer, we had a printer. So it was all kind of a do-it-yourself uh, kind of a effort uh, that, that made it work. And once we really developed our first website where members could log on and run their own reports and their own metrics, that's when it really became sticky. We began to grow relatively fast. I believe in 2005, we hired the largest class that we'd ever hired up to that point. There were eight of us that came in at the same time in June of 2005. We called that group the group of eight. We actually found out that we were a hire of eight that season. And I think that took the company from something like 12 employees to 20. <laughs> so almost doubling the size of the company when we came in. We all came in right out of college, which was kind of nice. And in the true UMass fashion, we throw a party. So we invited everybody, Matt, Janice, Ted, the rest of the crew, over to our apartment uh, where the two of us had room together. And we you know, got to know each other on a personal level so that when we entered Sightlines, we were entering together as a group rather than just individuals. So we really kind of formed a bond through um, the whole process of training and really the first few years of going through that together. I've had them say that, you know, thank God for Sightlines because my life has changed as a result of it. Most people at Sightlines found out we were dating when they saw a cat's engagement ring on her finger. So that was kind of secretive, actually. <laughs> Always an interesting dynamic, uh, you know, when that happens. So Cat and John were the first original Sightlines couple. Emily and Jordan Morris are another married couple at Sightlines. I am also married to <laughs> another Sightlines team member. We're close. It feels like a family, you know. I don't think that we don't understand what a unique culture and what a unique place Sightlines is. Well, I had never heard of Sightlines. And through Warburg, we were alerted that there was this company in Connecticut called Sightlines. And would we be interested in taking a look? So I was looking for examples of companies who did similar things 
and um, I found a PowerPoint online from Sightlines that happened to be written by David Cadamus. And purely by coincidence, I think, Greg had had a conversation a month or two earlier with David Cadamus about whether they might be interested in doing some business with us. I had gotten a random call from Greg Hansen and started to ask him questions about Sightlines. He had heard a lot about us as he's investigated higher ed. Once we got on the phone together, we just sort of seemed to hit it off about what the two companies were trying to do on their own and maybe some ways we could partner. And he started explaining about the capital work they're doing and the kind of philosophy they have as a company, which was incredibly similar to ours. And specifically, we talked about how the estimating part of our business could be a kind of glue between the capital planning and procurement. And then I came to discover that RS Means was part of the Gordian Group. Well, RS Means is extremely well known in higher education. And frankly, when I started talking to some of my colleagues, once they knew RS Means was, was a potential here, they thought, my gosh, what a great combination. It happened that we crossed paths with some of the folks from Warburg Pincus, and I brought up the conversation I had with Greg Hansen, and from there, I met Bill Pollack. And the more we learned, the more excited we became about the opportunity. The things that I learned about their business just reinforced for me how special the culture is. And I got very excited about how the product line from Sightlines would fit into what RS Means and the Gordian Group were doing. You know, this idea of being able to go on campus and create project lists and facilities assessments that would lead to projects which could be then estimated using RS Means data and then could be fulfilled using job order contracting, procurement tools. I thought, gee, this is really you know, my dream of integrating the construction process. This is a big piece of that puzzle. And that was the start of it. It's a winning combination that no one's going to be able to beat. There was incredible business fit, but also a fantastic cultural fit. That culture is probably the most important thing about this company. My main concern was that that didn't go away. Communicating that to our folks at the outset was very, very important. I think the first reaction that employees had was, who's the Gordian Group? I hadn't heard of the Gordian Group before. We had to Google Gordian Group to figure out who they were, what they did. When I heard the news, I think I chose to look at it as something that could potentially be really exciting and really good. I'm excited. I think the future has a lot of upside. You know, we have always aimed at answering the questions, what should you do? Whereas Cordian Group answers the question, how do we do it? And I think there's just a natural integration there that will just spawn a, a lot of great success stories for us and our clients as well. The more I learn, the more time I spend with Mark Schiff and with his team, the happier I am that Sightlines is in the family. The answer for the success of the company is not what I think they should do, but how they listen to one another and how do they interact. Let those bright ideas show, let those people bubble up to the top and, and drive forward. And I think that's going to be the excitement for the future. And that's my advice. I'm get out of the way is, my, is, is, is I think the best thing for us to do. Mm -hmm.